Welcome again. This is Dr. Ali Mugabel. We have two questions to test your understanding in signal operations, finding power and energy. The first question is, sketch the signal showing all important values on both axes of the sketch. The signal is x of t equals 3 of t times u of 2 minus t. Now we can pause the video and try to sketch it yourself. Please take it seriously and pause the video and try it yourself. If you find it simple, you can double check after you look at the answer. Okay, to sketch the following signal, I assume now that you have tried yourself to sketch the, the signal, I'm going to reproduce this equation with some colors here. So we have 3u of t at the bottom here, and then this part is shown in red, and this part is shown in blue. So the red part of the signal is the well-known function u of t, but it is scaled, it's not the unit step function, it's rather scaled by 3. So this is 3 u of t. I've sketched this. Now, let's sketch the blue part. It has some inversion and time shifting. You can go back to the videos for time domain operations to see how we sketch a modified time. Then clearly there is a, you'll find that clearly there's a time inversion and there is a shift. This blue part of the signal is shown in blue. Okay, so this is a unit step function. It has an amplitude of one, but it's reversed. So we have one here and then zero, and it's uh, the zero is at two. If two, if t equal to two, you get zero um, in front of u of t. So now we have the blue part of the signal and the red part. If you multiply them by each other, we have here zero times whatever you get zero. So we'll have zero here. We have zero also here times this value will get zero. So we have zero here and zero here. What's in between? We have 3 times 1. So this is going to look at like 3. The net result of the multiplication is this blue curve shown here. So I hope that you got this right from the first time. Now we're ready to move to, to, move to the next question. Uh, in this question, this is question number 2. Now again, it says, uh, there is a following sketch here. This is a challenging one. Signal power and energy. It says find the signal energy and signal power, and based on that, we can tell whether this is, whether this is a signal, which is power signal or energy signal. Uh, clearly, the energy is easy because uh, the energy is the area under the square of the curve. So without uh, further ado, I will just uh, assume that the energy will always be infinity because the area under this curve, remember that here it's not zero. So you're going to square this, you get all the way, so the area will be infinity. So the energy the energy would always be infinity. So let's keep this on the side. Energy is going to go to infinity. Okay, finding the power is, we'll start with the equation for the power. Remember that the equation for the power is the following. It's the area under the square of the curve, then you divide by the time. If you decide to take the integration limits from minus t to capital T, then you divide by 2t, and we take the limit as t to, goes to infinity. This is basically the definition of finding the power. You can also take the limit from minus t over 2 to plus t over 2 and then divide by 1 over t. So uh, we are going now to just take this definition and we'll continue with that. So we will substitute. I made the signal z of t here. It can be x of t, but here we're calling it z of t in, in, in different colors so you can trace. This signal is basically equal to 0 here in this part. So the integration will always give you to zero, zero. So we, we, we excluded that. And then from minus two to plus two, we have uh, an amplitude of eight constant. So this is going to be eight squared plus two, this region from two, two to infinity, the remaining part is equal to minus three. So it's either eight or minus three. And the integration limit is from minus two to two and from two to capital T. If you execute the square and then perform the integration, this is a relatively simple integration because it's just a constant. You get t here, and then we take the limit from minus two to from minus two to plus two, and then we just have plus nine t. Nine is the square of three, and then sixty-four is the square of eight. Substitute into the integration limit. Remember not to forget the minus sign. So we have 2 minus minus 2, which becomes plus. So we, and then similarly, we have t 
minus 2 uh, if we simplify here then remember that everything is divided by t and when you divide by t all constants are going to, to disappear because t is going to infinity so this term is not a problem uh, this term is not a problem the only term that would have value is the 9t then 9t divided by 2t which equals to 9 over 2 so the power for this example is 9 over 2 now if energy is infinity and the power is finite we call this a power signal so this is a power signal okay I hope also that you got this thing right so we'll see you in coming examples thank you very much we'll see you again